Piper, do you like all the tomatoes? Yeah? This is from like one harvest. These guys are getting ready to go in the oven. <laughs> oh, that's not, a lot of tomatoes. It's not even counting what's in the dehydrator already. Oh yeah, we got some in the dehydrator. They're going. Holy tomato! So lovely this morning. Hey friends, it's Jen. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. It's been a little while since I've taken you around the garden. And part of that is because I've been neglecting the garden quite a bit <laughs> over the past 10 days, two weeks. We're gonna go walk through the garden. We're gonna harvest what we really need to get harvested. I have help from my husband, Chris. He'll be coming over in just a minute. We're gonna walk through and see what needs to get taken care of ASAP. You might be wondering, why have you been neglecting the garden? Well, I've been working on my PhD for the past five years actually, but over the past couple of months, uh, there's a process where I have to write a lot of really long papers. And on top of that, we are renovating our bedroom, AKA also our nursery, pregnancy, working full time. I just haven't had time. I've been really limited and I've had more pressing things to deal with. So the garden has uh, taken a, a back seat. But now it's time to get things looked at. So let's see what we've got going on here. <laughs> You want to show the friends our garden? Yeah. Hey. I want to get the red onions harvested too. So I think I think we're gonna need a bigger box for that. what we got them for. Onions? For harvesting produce in general. Onions and potatoes. Potatoes not tonight. <laughs> That's like a longer project. Yes. But onions are easy. Oh! Can you see nothing? <laughs> so cute. Do you want to come to the garden with us? Do you know where the are on? What are you guys doing? <laughs> what in the world? What in the world? I you caught have? it on camera. Glaciers? <laughs> sure. Yikes. Don't say yikes. <laughs> Gotta pull out some of these onions in here. Put those away. And Chris is going to harvest some of these tomatoes in here. I've got some okra in here. Lots of ground cherries all over the place. You can see. No, it's like really hard to walk through. Let's grab a box for harvesting more tomatoes. This is a very, very pretty little like surround that's around you right now. It's not gonna be salvageable, I don't think. I'm just gonna take it off. This would be a really cute photo of you right here. I can save it. Yeah, well. Okay, this is just chaos. I mean, there's tomatoes growing up here. I don't even know what happened. Our garden's wild right now. <laughs> it is. Okay, well. Let's get some of these guys picked because they are really ripe. All of that is ripe. Whoa boy. All of that. Whoa boy. Let's yeah. 
to work. Let's get to work. He's right. Wow, look at this one. I know. What is that? I think that's a gold medal. Gold medal company. <laughs> that's gross. So beautiful. Yeah. Such a variety of color. So we just spent like 30 minutes picking tomatoes and there's still so many more to go. We have a system going where we have like boxes every so many feet designated for tomatoes just because we have so many. And I am going to go pick the red onions real quick, but it's pretty clear that the garden is doing just fine without us. The plants are starting to show signs of blight, but I'm not gonna do anything about it because I have so many tomatoes and they're so big. Pruning them would be quite the task. So, so yeah, our peppers are doing fantastic. We have a lot of beautiful bells. Not a lot ripening yet, but should be in the near future. And so many different kinds of hot peppers and paprika peppers and um, sweet snacking peppers and just so many peppers. It's just very abundant. Very um, impressed by just the way the garden has kind of gone this year. It's a little overwhelming though. I'm not gonna lie. Let me just show you, like this is a forest. It's literally a forest. Like, the tomatoes are trees. <laughs> the peppers are even like small, like they're, they're shrubs. You would never even know that I'm over here. Where are you? <laughs> All I hear is your voice. Listen to the sound of my voice. Oh, found you on the other side of the forest. Hi. Oh, baby. What? Like giant enormous. I'll have to come see it. Look at that guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's a copia. It's gonna be impossible for me to get in there and tell right now in the dark. <laughs> if it was lighter, maybe I'd have a chance. Yeah, those are like the worst boxes possible for tomatoes. Are you criticizing me? Yes. Because I grabbed boxes for you. I'm so sorry. I got boxes for you. Hey, hey look, check it out. Little pumpkins. You got huge vitamin of foreign boxes if you want to use those. Those are very shallow. Yeah, those are great. Pumpkins! Despite all the squash problems of 2020, we will have some pumpkins, guys. We can come back out here first thing in the morning if you want to finish. Yeah. It's getting too dark for me to even be able to successfully see tomatoes behind all the dark green foliage. Yeah, look at these beans. This is a volunteer bean, guys, that I left in the ground from last year and it's climbed all, all this. Yeah, do you want to... I kind of just want to come back out and work okay. on it like first thing in the morning once you wake up. Okay. Let's just get these boxes of tomatoes in the house. Sounds good. And I need to pick some okra. Oh, what do we do with all the tomatoes? Yeah, what are I'm we gonna do with them all? I mean, literally look, just gonna turn them all into roasted I just sauce. have piles of honey drops in here. Yeah, the honey drops, I don't know what to do with. I haven't even gotten all the honey drops yet. <laughs> look at this, just this chaos. I mean, it's chaos, but it's it's good chaos. It's beautiful it's, chaos. It's beautiful, good chaos, for sure. Yeah. It's just, it's so much. <laughs> it looks amazing. It looks so gorgeous and like it's getting very symmetrical now with that uh, squash going over the trellis. Yeah. This looks just really beautiful. I just can't believe how full it is. I mean last year it was nothing, nothing yeah. like that. Good morning friends. It's the next day and we're both wearing the same outfits. <laughs> so basically the same day for you. Uh, we harvested tomatoes last night and then it got too dark and ran out of time. So it's like cherries and glaciers, giant zucchinis and summer squash the big slicers and then some more slicers and cherries <sighs> yep. what are we gonna do with them lots of roasted tomato sauce because it's the easiest thing to use so what 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 did we need to do today we need to finish getting the tomatoes because we're not done yet <laughs> not done and we need to harvest peppers and i want to harvest the red onions and i also want to check on the watermelon that are over in the um berms and swales 
Yeah, I'm sure we can find plenty to harvest. Yeah, so let's also beans. I need to harvest some green beans. And cucumbers. Let's get out there. Oh, and eggplant too. Eggplant. So anywho, this is the garden after like 10 days of neglect, basically. Um, 10 days, two weeks, a while of not, not really maintaining it or keeping track of what was going on in there. And honestly, we haven't been doing any garden maintenance really at all, other than squash bug picking. No maintenance, like no pruning, no tying things up because it's just a forest and we're letting it be a forest this year. We've got a bedroom to work on. Yeah, we have other stuff to do. So we're just letting the garden do its own thing. So lovely this morning. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Because I haven't been maintaining the garden, my plans for a cucumber teepee just turned into a cucumber teepee that has about a foot of cucumber on it and then cucumber going all around it because I just didn't tie them up. So let me show you guys what I mean. So we got our teepee and then we have just cucumbers all over the place. I need to come in, I need to harvest ground cherries that are just all over the floor and eggplant so let me let me get that done now I'm going to pick some peppers and I'm gonna prune off some of these leaves that I'm seeing the first signs of powdery mildew on Whew, it's getting hot the reason I'm wearing long sleeves is because I've been getting like eczema rashes on my arms during pregnancy from touching garden plants so trying to avoid getting rashes but it's super hot Super flushed, super hot out. I didn't get to the red onions. I didn't get to most of the peppers. We pretty much just got to the tomatoes and then I picked myself some breakfast. So I'm gonna have a little potato and veggie hash. So it's time to go inside and I'm gonna eat some breakfast. But yeah, that's how the garden's doing after like two weeks of neglect. There's lots to do out there, that's for sure. Even in the hot time. 